Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? English students, welcome to your English session. Karen, estás en las labores. You're working, Karen. Okay, you're making money, huh? That's good. Welcome, Roberto Ramirez. How's it going tonight? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm doing great here. It's a great day. It's a great day. How are you? How you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, Irmin. What's up? I'm fine, teacher. All right, all right. How is work? How yes, is teacher. work? Yes, today. Is good? Good. Hiring. Difficult, huh? It's tiring. Sometimes it's difficult. Sometimes, teacher. Yes, that's right. That's right. Well, I'm happy to see you, man. I'm happy to see you around here. Yes, welcome to the English class. Uh, let me say welcome to Mario Hernandez. Hello, Mario. Can you hear me or are you driving? Are you driving a car? No, I, I am in my house. Ooh, so you will participate today, huh? <laughs> yes as much as possible all right that's nice i like it i like it and how are you today sir how are you huh i'm fine all good everything it's good i'm happy to hear that i'm happy to hear that welcome then to the class mr mario let me say welcome to monica maricela Good evening, Monica. What's going on? Bad uh, connection. Okay, what about Alex Ramirez? How's it going tonight, gentlemen? Hello. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Can you hear me well? I hear. I I hear. I, I can. I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. How are you, Alex? How's it going, sir? How's it going? <clears throat> Esto último no sé qué quiere decir. How's it going? It's like how are you? It's the same. How are you? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's pretty much. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you for you. Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure. Are you ready for the class? Are you ready? I, I am I am drinking a cup of coffee right now. Ah, okay, okay. What y are you doing? También en inglés, también en inglés, ¿cómo se dice? Yo también. Me too. <laughs> ah. Me too. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> All right. That's good, man. That's good. Welcome to the class. 
Everybody, Karen Elizabeth is at work. Roberto, okay. How about Raymond Scotto? How are you doing, Mr. Raymond? Present teacher. <laughs> How okay. are you doing, sir? And um, now I take a dinner. Woohoo! Bon appetite. Bon appetite. Uh, thank you. Talk to me when you finish, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, all right. Not a problem. Not a problem. Welcome, Mr. Sanchez. How's it going tonight? Hello, Mr. Sanchez. Douglas. Hello, teacher. I am good. Well, yeah, how is work? How is work? Not. I, oh, you're I on am vacation. vacation. You say, I am on vacation. Repeat. I am on vacation. I am in the beach. Woo! Good for you. Good for you. Are you in El Tunco Beach? No? I am great in the oh. beach. <laughs> Don't drink too much, okay? Don't drink too much. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the class, people. A ver, hagamos a little recap from yesterday's class. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Huh? What do you remember? What do you remember from yesterday's class? You don't remember anything? That's a doctor and the jobs. Yeah, we had a conversation about jobs. We have a conversation about jobs. Yes, we were making questions using does. Yes. For example, that's a doctor, blah, 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 right? For example, what does a doctor do? Mm -hmm. For example, where does a doctor work? Yes, do you remember? Alex, say a job, everybody. Say one job, say one job. Let's do one practice. Uh-huh, give me one job. Supervisor. Supervisor, uh, yes. That's a supervisor. Okay, supervisor, it's a job. Yes. Can we say a different job? Different job, please. Uh, Let's go, class. Engineer. 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 Repeat, engineer, an engineer. An engineer. Excellent, excellent. What else, class, what else? Architect. An architect. An architect. Yes, thank you. Only Alex is participating and my other students, what happened with my other students? Okay, I hear a television. Can you turn off the television? <laughs> hey, okay. What about what about a waiter? A waiter. Repeat. A waiter. Repeat. A waiter. A waiter. A waiter. A waiter. What is the first question? What is the first question? 
About a waiter. What? What does? What does a waiter do? Correct. What does a waiter do? Okay, guys. What does a waiter do? Hmm? What does a waiter do? What does a waiter, a waiter, with the food, right? What does a waiter do? Talk to me, talk to me, come on. A waiter. Hello? A waiter. Oh my God, I'm gonna help you. Teacher, I uh, understand a waiter. A waiter? Waiter is un mesero. Ah. Uh, In the restaurant, remember? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. A waiter takes a waiter. orders. What else? What else? Talk to me. Uh, take a menu. In muestra, muestra, uh, shows uh, a waiter what? shows the menu. Shows the menu to the um, customers. Take the order. Takes the person. Takes orders. Yes, thank you, Raymond. Takes a waiter. Takes orders. Come on, continue. No more. That's it. A waiter wears a uniform. A waiter talks to people. Clear a table. A waiter clears the table. Correct. A waiter gets a tip. <laughs> gets a tip. Adquiere una, ¿cómo se dice? Propina. Gets oh, a tip. <laughs> gets a tip. Huh? How do you say in English cajero? Cashier. Cashier. Repeat. Cashier. 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 Can you make the question? What? Questions? Oh my God, se les ha olvidado la práctica de ayer, es en serio. Preguntamos, ¿qué hace un cajero? Por ejemplo, preguntamos preguntas directas como, um, ¿un cajero trabaja con qué? ¿Ciertas personas o herramientas? ¿Y dónde trabaja? Get uh, money. What does a cashier do? What does a cashier do? Thank you. Yes, I do. What does a cashier do? Uh huh. What does a cashier do? A cashier, a cashier, get a uh, get a uh, getting. Getting, no, get, get. A cashier gets a money. 
Um, yeah, yeah. You can cash. say a cashier works with a cash. Works. Yes. A cash. cashier works with cash. Thank you, Alex. Work with, or work with cash. Works with cash. Work works with cash. Work work with cash. En otras palabras, handles money. Yeah, a cashier handles money. Handles money. Mm -hmm. En las manos el dinero. So, este handle es como manipular, como, como manejar, como gestionar, handle. Uh -huh. Gestionar, handle. Uh -huh. Handles money. Uh -huh. Bueno, y solo Alex está participando y los demás. What happened? What happened with my students? Solo tú has cenado, Alex. Uh -huh. eh, el effect de coffee. The effect of the coffee. Hey, yo por eso I always drink my coffee before the class. <laughs> Red that, Bull. That's a Red good Bull, vitamin. Yeah. Okay, what about what about questions with us? Questions with us. Questions with us. About a, about a cashier. Ok, pues les voy a ayudar yo pues. <ríe> Por ejemplo, does a cashier wear a uniform? Ajá, uh, guys, does a cashier wear a uniform? Yes, I do. Mm, the person. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, he does. Yes, that's correct. Another question. Does a cashier Help me, help me. Talk to me. Does a cashier... Contometer in English? Contometer? Contometer. Contometer? Como usa un... Tenemos que usar un verbo, right? Uh, does a cashier... Calcu calcular? Buen verbo, calculate. Calculi calcu... Calculate. 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 Does a cashier calculate? Um, ¿Cómo calcular? ¿Cómo hacer las cuentas? In contometer. In the contometer. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Ok. Does a cashier make the calculations podemos decir sería esa la actividad makes makes the calculation the calculations sí porque calculate casi no I don't think so I don't think so okay make the calculation mm -hmm. that's a that's a como es que cashier okay what about that's what about cashier. place where does a cashier work in the bank. Correct. A cashier works in a bank. Repeat, Raymond. A cashier a works. Cashier work. A cashier works. A cashier works in the bank. Works in, the bank. Works in the bank. Correct. Excellent. Excellent. Let me see a different job. Let me see Tatiana. Can you give us a different, different, different job? Um, no sé, digamos, how do you say photographer? That's a good one. Bueno, foto se dice photo, entonces fotógrafo se dice photographer. 
photographer. Repeat, photographer. Photographer. Ah, excellent, that's a good job. Question, question. Class, can you make a question about a photographer? What does a photographer do? Fantastic. Thank you, Raymond. What does a photographer do, class? What does a photographer do, students? Take a, take a photo. Remember take that it's in third person. A photographer. A, a photographer. Take a photo. Take a photo. Takes. Takes. I take. Takes. I take. You take. Takes. But takes. a photographer takes pictures. A photographer takes pictures. Bueno, también se puede decir picture o se puede decir photo. Picture or photo. Mm -hmm. Takes photos. You can say takes photos. A photographer takes photos. Yes. Yes. Uh, does a photographer work at night? Yes. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Thank you. Okay. Uy. Photographer. Okay, sorry. That's a uh, that's a photographer. Photographer. Does a photographer speak other languages? Yes. Yes, he does. Really? Yes, does. Maybe, teacher? <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. It could be. Me llega esa respuesta. <laughs> Speak other languages. Maybe, says, yeah, maybe it could be, right? But most of the photographers, I don't think they speak other languages. Maybe a different job, which is, um... oh, but on Fortuna Pregunta, where does a photographer work? Where does a photographer work? A photographer in works a in a park. It's correct, in a park, in a party, in una boda, in a wedding. In the graduation, in the party, in a party, in a special event, etc. Okay, guys, thank you for the feedback. Gracias por el retroalimentación para calentar. Thank you for your participation. Let's go over the attendance. Okay, let's go with Alex and Ramirez Salazar. Are you in the house? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, Alicia Esmeralda Romero, Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz, I am present teacher, Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas, Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon, yeah, she's at work, Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez, present teacher, fantastic, Edith, ya, ya puede participar, Miss, o aún está trabajando. Uh, sí, todavía estoy trabajando, oh, pero puedo participar. Ah, excelente, excelente. Uh -huh. Ok, Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Irving Joel Morán González. Present teacher. Teacher. Yes, sir. Excuse me. I am in a meeting. My okay. Board. ok, no problem, no problem. Solo me avisa cuando ya se te regreso, ok, para tomarte en cuenta. Ok, I am, I am listening. You're listening. Okay, perfect, perfect. No problem. Thank okay. you, sir. 
Thank you. And Jose Eduardo Gutierrez Alguero. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present teacher. Ahorita voy saliendo del trabajo. Ok, mis primero Dios que pueda llegar con bien y pues si llega antes de que hemos terminado, me avisa para que participemos, ok? Gracias. My pleasure. Now, Miss Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. María Elena Linares Díez. Present. Excellent. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Present. Excellent, Mario. Mónica Maricela Martínez Pineda. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Raymond Antonio Scoro Avarca. Present teacher. Roberto Antonio Ramirez Gonzalez. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Present teacher. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. Vamos a hablar entonces de existencias, okay? We're going to uh, practice a little bit about this topic. It's a little tricky. So I'll share my screen with you. Oh, oh, let's see. <clears throat> There it is, video panel, that's what it's called. So you're able to see my screen, correct? I can see teacher. I wonderful, see. wonderful. Okay, here we have, uh, there is, repeat, there, there um, is. There. The sound is with the, the sound. There. There is. We can use the contraction for there is. What is the contraction? There's. There's. Excellent. There is or there's. Uh, this is for singular form. And then we have there are. There are is for plurals. There is for singulars, okay? So let's check. We have there is a bath. When we use there is, when we use there is, como there is is singular, right? Vamos a necesitar los artículos a, or an, siempre, siempre, porque estamos hablando de un objeto, it's singular, okay? For example, in this room, in this room, there is, there is a television in this room. There's a television. There's a TV in this room. Do you understand? So that is singular. Por eso es que estoy usando el A. There is A. Okay. Can you say something affirmative? Something that you have in your room using there is. Volunteer. There is a table. Correct. There is a table. There, there is, is a bed. There is a bed. Excellent. There is a bed. Continue. There is a mirror. Excellent. Edwin, there is a mirror. I love when you use the article. Ah, mirror. A bed, a door, a sofa. Continue. There is a lamp. There is a lamp. Fantastic. Continue. 
There is a share. Repeat. There is a chair. Repeat. There is a chair. There is a chair. 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 <clears throat> there is a chair. There is a hey, In my room, there is a chair too. Can you repeat? There is a refrigerator. There is a refrigerator. refrigerator. Oh my God, that's a difficult word, huh? Mm. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. ¿Cómo se podía decir en forma corta eso? Refrigerator. Refri. Freezer. Freezer. No, freezer, freezer solo es el de arriba, freezer. <laughs> right, donde está el, el, el ice. Se dice fridge. 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 Es como la forma corta, ¿verdad? Fridge. There is, there is a fridge. Oh, nice, nice. Eh, there is um, there is there a is motorcycle. A I'm sorry, Edwin. There is a cell phone. Hi. Is it is it an iPhone or an Android? Android. Ah, oh, there is an Android. Ah, huh? nice. There is an Android. Thank you. Continue. Continue. There is a wallet. Let's go with Josue first. Go, Josue. There is um. <laughs> there is a table. Okay, okay. There is a table. Perfect. King Massive ahí. Ah, Edwin, eras tú, Edwin? El otro ejemplo. There is a bed. There is a bed. Excellent. Excellent. There so, is a sofa. There is a sofa. There is a sofa. Very natural. Uh, continue, continue. Tatiana, Edith, Karen, Maria, let's go. Make an example. Give one example using there is a or there is an. There is a bed. There are, uh, there, there are apples. Okay, that's plural. There are apples. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you. There is a. There is a computer in my house. There is a car there in the is garage. An orange. I'm sorry, Edwin, can you repeat? There is an orange. Where? In the fridge? Yes. Mm, it's mine, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> there is an orange. Very well. Singular examples, affirmatives. There is a, ok. Usualmente tenemos que dar el location. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is an orange in the refrigerator. Yes. There is a stereo. Yeah, music. There is a stereo in my room. Ok. Continue, continue. Give one example. Come on. No more. There is a table. There is a notebook. There is um a bed. Vaya, pero quiero que vaya la mía extra. Por ejemplo, María, si usted me dice there is a notebook, quiero que me diga a dónde. Por ejemplo, there is a notebook in my backpack. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. There is a notebook in a table. On the table. On the, On table. the table. Okay, okay. There is a bed. 
in my bedroom. Correct. That's a complete example. There is a bed in my bedroom. Yes. Thank you, Maria. Bueno, so this is an affirmation. There is a dresser. There is a dresser. Yes. Dresser. There is a dresser. There is a dresser. There is a dresser. There is a can of soda in the fridge. Mm. There is a can of soda in the fridge. There is a can of soda. Hay una lata de soda, ¿sí? Una lata, a can. There is a can of soda. No more? Okay. Now, we're going to give negative examples. Attention, for the negative examples, we have two options, okay? The first option is this. There is no. There for example, no. there is no sofa. There is no. No la palabra, no confundamos con la palabra not. ¿Se acuerdan del negation word not? En este caso es la palabra no, tal cual. Just like that. There is no sofa in the bedroom. There is no food in my house. There is no food. Oops, sorry. Food. There is no food in my house. There is no electricity. Excuse me, excuse me teacher. What is, what is the meaning of food? Food. Excuse food. me, teacher. What? Food. It, uh, I wanted to put food, comida. F-O-O-D. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, there is no electricity. En esta forma, guys, no se usa el artículo. Ya se fijaron. En esta forma no se usa el artículo. No vamos a usar a or an. There is no TV. TV here. Teacher. Yes. Pero no también podríamos decir isn't. Sí, sí, sí. Esta isn't es la otra forma, pero cuando usamos isn't, ahí sí tenemos que usar un artículo. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a hacer los, los dos tipos de ejemplos para que eh, cubramos los dos espacios. Por ejemplo, there is no food in my house. La otra forma Teacher. sería... Dígame. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yes. Uh, ¿Cómo es que se dice por qué, por qué en inglés? Se me olvida. Why, why in English? Ah, why. Uh, why for can is puedo. O poder. Eh, bueno, y también le dio un significado de lata. Sí, sí, es correcto. Recordar que eh, hay bastantes palabras que tienen dos, tres o más significados. Entonces, esta palabra eh, es el caso, solo que la pronunciación es diferente, ¿verdad? Como contenedor se conoce como can. Puede ser un a can of tuna. ¿Sabes qué es tuna? No. A can, a can of tuna es como sardina. A can of tuna. Uh, okay. 
okay. eso, ese can, a can es del contenedor, la, la lata. lata right? Ajá, pero en, en el contexto del de modal, el modal verb que es can, que es poder, ahí es diferente, ¿verdad? Porque si oh, tú dices, yeah. I can drink. I okay. can drink coffee every day. Entonces, I can drink coffee every day. En ese contexto, can está como el modal verb, right? La pronunciación del modal verb es can. 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 Y la pronunciación del contenedor es can. Can. Ok. Got it? Can. Ok. Please. La pronunciación. Eh, del contenedor es can. Can. A can of soda. Y el modal can. verb es can. Can. Bueno, demos entonces negative examples y usamos las dos formas, ¿les parece? Ajá. There. Okay. Ah. There is no a car. There is no car. Así, Alex, <coughs> démosle como que un lugar, ¿ok? There is... Uy, se me fue. Sería there is no car. Es negativa. There is no car in the company. In my house. In the garage. In the garage. There is no in car. Garage. A ver todos, repeat. There is no car. There is no car. In the company. There is no car in the company. ¿Cuál sería la otra forma? There isn't. Isn't. Uh -huh. A car. Correct. There, there isn't, isn't a, a car. car. There isn't a car. Manejemos las dos formas. There is no car. There isn't a car. Okay? Another one, another okay. example. Let's go. There is no computer on, on a table. On the table. On the table. There is no computer on the table. Repeat, people. There is no, no computer. Com no computer on the table. There, there is, is no computer, computer on the table. That's true. The there is no computer on the table. There is no computer on the table. Okay. And what is the other form? What is the other form? There is a computer, a computer on, the table. on the table. Correct. There isn't a computer on the table. <laughs> nice, nice. One second. Okay, okay, okay. All right. One more negative example. Volunteers. There isn't a plate on the table. There isn't a plate. Yes? Yes. There isn't a plate on the table. Okay. Repeat. There isn't a plate on the table. There isn't a plate on the table. In the other form? There, there is. There is no. There is no a plate on the table. Not you sure? Hay algo ahí que no es necesario. There is something that is not necessary there. There is no. Plate on the table. Correct. There is no plate on the table. There is no banana in the fridge. There is no banana in the fridge. 
There isn't there is a banana. banana. Yes. Okay. Ya vimos affirmative, negative, singulares, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita vamos a question. Question. Yes. Puedo decir una más. Vamos. There is a break on the class. There is a break in the class. Ajá. Ah, pero esta la dijiste en afirmativo. There is a break in the class. There isn't a break. Oh, there isn't. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> there isn't a break. Break time. In the class. Sorry. De otra forma, there is no break. There is no yes, break yeah. for you. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Entonces vamos a hacer preguntas. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? El verbo to be pasa al primer lugar. Si antes decía there is, ahora voy a decir is there. Is usando there. capital letter, ¿verdad? Y letra mayúscula. Is there. Is there a garage? Garage. Es que mi, mi teclado está como configurado en español y siempre me tira algo en español. Sería, is there a garage in your house? La respuesta, ¿cuál sería ahí? Yes. Yes, yes. there is. There is. Negative? No. No, they are. There isn't. Is this is singular? This is singular. <laughs> Mm -hmm. For example, is there, you know how do you say mascota in English? Pet. Pet. B E T. Very good. Is there a pet in your house? Yes. yes there is. They are, there is. No, there isn't. Para los que me dijeron, yes, there is. Respondemos, yes, there is. Repeat. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Punto. Y ahí doy información adicional, ¿verdad? There is a cat. There is a dog. There is a puppy. Yeah. There is a parakeet in my house. There is a hamster. There is a mosquito. No, mosquito no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so... You give additional information. En el caso que es negativo, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there is not. Ojo, guys, las preguntas tenemos que contestarlas usando lo que, lo que estamos usando gramaticalmente. Perdón, ahí la redundancia. Si les pregunta es con do, respondo con do. Si la pregunta es con el verbo to be, respondo con el verbo to be. En este caso, la pregunta es con is there. For example, is there a computer in your house? Yes, there is. Yes, there is a computer in my house. Nice. Edwin? No, there, are, there is. There isn't. There isn't. So right now you are receiving the class on your cell phone? Yes. Ah, oh, nice. Yes, there is. Question. Is there a second floor in your house? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. My house. ¿Cómo se dice solo una planta? Just one floor. Planta, vamos a decir floor como de piso, ¿ya? Floor. 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 Okay. F. Floor. L. O. O. R. R. Just. Just. Lo usas como solo para o simplemente. Just. O solamente. Just one floor. Just one floor. Mm -hmm. Ok, 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 ok. Question. Is there... Is there much traffic in El Salvador?
Is there much traffic in El Salvador? Yes, there is. Alex, do you have a question? No, 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 es que eh, le iba a pedir que repitiera, pero en ese momento estaba repitiendo. Ah, is there much traffic in El Salvador? Yes. Yes, there is so much traffic in El Salvador. Excellent, excellent. Is there so much work in your company? Is there so much work in your company? Mucho trabajo. Is there so much work in your company? Sometimes. Okay, aplica, aplica. Sometimes there is. Diga, sometimes, sometimes there is. Sometimes there is. Excellent. Sometimes there is. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Is there much work in your company? Is there much work in your company? Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Okay, it's your turn. Make a question. Come on, make a question. Go. Is there? Is there? Come on, come on, come on. Talk to me. Is there? Mm -hmm. Is there? A... Make a question, please. Make a question. Is there a? Uh huh. Is there a is there a, enough food in my house? Okay, okay. Is there enough food? Enough food in my house. Ok, como le vamos a preguntar al compañero, vamos a usar your, ok. Is there enough, enough, suficiente, enough. Is there enough food in your house? Aha, guys, is there enough food in your house? Hello, yes or no? Hay suficiente comida. Is there enough food in your house? No, there isn't. Okay. How about you guys? Is there enough food in your house? No, there isn't. Oh, there isn't. Okay, we need to go, we need to go shopping, huh? We need to go yes. shopping. <laughs> nice go job. To supermarket. <laughs> you need to go to the supermarket after the class. <laughs> okay. All of this practice was singular form, okay? Now we're gonna study plural form. For the plural form, we don't need the article a or an. Acá ya no necesitaremos los artículos a or an. Why, teacher? Because a is for singulars, ¿ok? Aquí lo que podemos usar en vez del artículo, podemos usar este quantifier que se llama some. Repeat, some. Some. Lips close. Some, porque estamos hablando de algunos o de algunas. Some. For example, there are some chairs. El noun tiene que ir en... Plural. 
Yes. Si usted me dice, there are some chair, sin la S, it's incorrect. Tenemos que pronunciar el noun en plural. Ok. For example, there are some chickens in my home, in my house. There are some chickens. Chickens. There are some chickens in my house. Can you say one example? There are. Affirmation. This is an affirmation. There are some pictures. There are some pictures. There are some pictures in my office. Repeat. There are. There are some pictures in my office. In my office. Pictures. 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 Plural. Pictures. Y este there jamás me lo confundan con el subject pronoun de ellos. ¿Cómo se dice ellos? There. 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 They. They. Se dice así como día. Day. Day. Pero, pero este es there. 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 Ok. Ok. Ajá. I have a question for the class. I have a question for you. Is there a baby in your house? No. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, there isn't. Ah, ya me pasé a, ya me pasé right. a singular otra vez. I'm sorry, me emociono. I'm sorry. Estamos aquí en plurals. Estamos aquí en plurals. There are, there are some, ¿qué? A ver, guys, yo necesito que me den ejemplos eh, así, pero que me pronuncien en plural ese noun. Chairs, sofas, tables, pictures. Beds, etc. Beds. Uh -huh. Cars. There are some cars. Uh -huh. Puedo hacer el número en específico. En vez de usar son, puedo decir there are four, four people my family. Acuérdense que estamos dando el lugar también. In there are my family. Ajá. There, there are, are some shoes. Correct. There are. Finish it. Finish it, Alex. There are some shoes. Ajá. Under of the bed. Under the bed. Muy bien. Under the bed. Ese es un ejemplo completo. There are some shoes under the bed. Can you repeat, guys? There are some shoes under the bed. There are some shoes under the bed. Under the bed. Give me more examples. I'm all ears. Come on. There are some shoes under the, de under the bed. Good. That's a good one. There are some shoes. There are. There <clears throat> are. There are. Open your mouth. There are some shoes on the bed. Okay. Other example. Other example. There are some children in the school. Wonderful example in the school. Yes, there are some children in the school. There are some children. There are some children in the school. Repeat. There are some children, there are some children, children in, in the school. school. A ver, aquí en este ejemplo que me dio Raymond, 
children, ella está en plural, ¿verdad? Porque children es un uh, irregular noun, ¿verdad? Que significa hijos. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Ajá, Tatiana, ¿tiene un ejemplo, Tatiana? There are some people in my house. Ok, ok. Cuando tiene ruido, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, guys. There are some people in my house. I'm sorry. <ríe> Entonces estoy diciendo que hay algunas personas. ¿Ya? Yeah? People, estamos usando otro irregular noun. Muy bien, muy bien. Good job, Tati. Somebody else? Participation time. Come on. There are some playlists in my Spotify. Yes. Yes. There are some songs on my Spotify list. Yeah. Canciones, songs. There are some songs, song, songs. Yes. In my Spotify. There are 13 students. In the class. Yes. There are 13 students in the class. There are 13 students in the class. Can you repeat? There are 13 students in my class. Students. 13 students. Students. There are 13 students. There are. 13 students in my home, in my house, in my, in my class, in my class. <laughs> All right. There are 12 months in the year. Yes? There, there, are, are, 12, there are 12 months in the year. Fantastic pronunciation. Give me one more example. Come on. One more example. Talk to me. There are some books in the library. There are some books in the library. 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 Wonderful. Good job. Let's go to the negatives. Again, in the negative for plural, you have two options. Siempre la opción con el no, right? Y aquí no usaríamos ya la palabra son. There are no chairs. There are no eggs in the kitchen. And the other form, there aren't any. Repeat, there aren't any. There aren't, there aren't any. many. Both are ways to say it in negative. For example, there are no mangoes. There are no mangoes in the fridge. There are no mangoes, mangoes, plural. There are no mangoes in the fridge. What is the other form? What is the other form? There aren't any mangoes in the fridge. Correct. Guys, cuando es negativa, vamos a usar la palabra any. ¿Ya se fijaron en los plurales? Cuando es positiva, usamos la palabra some. ¿Ok? Cuando es negative, usamos any. There aren't any mangoes. There aren't any mangoes. Can you say a negative example, please? Go ahead. There are any many cars? A cars? There aren't any cars. Muy bien. 
there aren't aren't there aren't any 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 uh -huh. of course Ayer no, yo no usamos A. Ah, ahí vamos a okay. usar any. There aren't any cars. There aren't any. There aren't. There aren't any cars. There aren't any kids in this class. There aren't. There are no kids in this class. All right. Let's watch this video. And now he got nervous. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. All okay, guys, the internet is getting a little nervous. Sorry about that. Okay, I think now I can. Let's try, let's try. There is. ¿Por qué está tan rápido? Okay, let me check. Creo que yo lo he puesto muy rápido. And there are. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there then the verb to be is is um, on the example is contracted as you can see there's we will use the article a the complement is bed in the bedroom we're going to do something similar with the next example 
there's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence, we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article A because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example. There isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please. All right, all right. Let me see here. So it's your turn. It's your turn. But before we let you work, I want you to make a little exercise. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to send you a couple of links so you practice and then you're going to do an additional work okay so just be patient because this computer it's a little slow for me okay so the first one is right here let's see Okay, so I'm going to send you a link so you practice there is and there are, okay? I'm going to send you a video first. I'm going to send you a video first. And then you're going to do an exercise. So go ahead and watch this video. Go ahead and watch this video, please. And then you will do an exercise. Go.
All right, people. Did you complete the exercise? I think most of you have completed the exercise. <laughs> it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. I think we are almost done there, huh? Hey, Alex, just share with me the image. Let me see how you did. Oh, you got 100%. That's nice. That's really nice. Thank you for the results. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good job, good job, good job. Bueno, ese fue eh, la práctica, pero yo quiero una demostración así más, más convincing, okay? So I can feel satisfied as an English teacher. <laughs> Here's your work. Here's your work. Prepare a 90 second talk, okay? Describing your home and furniture using there is a, there are some, there isn't a, or there is no, there aren't any, or there are no. For example, in my house, there is a garage, there is a car, there is a motorcycle, there is no bicycle, there are three bedrooms, there is a living room, there are two sofas, two big sofas. There are four armchairs. There are five chairs. There is a TV. There is a refrigerator. There are two bathrooms. There is a laptop. There is no microwave oven, but there is a stove. There are some animals. There are some chickens. There is a cat and there is a puppy. So there is a little fan, there is a meter, there are some pictures, and this is pretty much it, right? This is what I expect from you. This is what I expect from you. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to prepare. 10 minutes to prepare. Teacher. Alex, go ahead. Teacher. Yes. I don't have a house. You don't have a house? I live in my house father's. Oh, no problem. No problem. <laughs> but you can still, you can still describe. What is there, right? You can describe the furniture, you can describe the food, you can describe the people around the house or in the house, okay? So you have 10 minutes, you have 10 minutes to prepare, okay? okay. Let's go. Do you have questions? Let me know. Let's go, prepare it, prepare. Preparation time, 10 minutes.
All right. Time is up. Time is up. Uh, let's go with your descriptions of your house, furniture, and household appliances using there is and there are. Let's go by order of the list. Let's just start with Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. You ready? Are you you ready? You say, I am ready. I am ready. I am, I am ready. ready. Super ready. I'm ready. <laughs> All ready. right. Three, two, one. Attention to your classmate, Alex. Let's go. There is a text in my bedroom, and there is a laptop on a desk. There is a bed in my bedroom. There are some shoes in my room. There is uh, some shoes in my closet. Um, there, there isn't. There isn't. Uh, there is a uh, notebook. Uh, there uh, aren't. There aren't. Uh, there aren't. Sorry, me faltó. La que me faltó. There aren't any. Uh, there aren't. Any. There aren't any. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Este, ¿cómo se llama? Anillos. Rings. 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 Uh, they aren't any. Rings. Time. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you so much, Alex. Good job. Creo que, creo que alcanzaste a cubrir los espacios, right? Um, good job. I really like you use positive, negatives, plural and singular. Te escuché muchos uh, nouns que sí los, los pronunciaste bien con su plural, eh, singulares con su artículo A. So, you're very good, my friend. Nice job. Thank you for you. Thank you. Oh, thank you for working hard. Continue like that. Working hard. Persistence. Persistence will keep you to become bilingual for sure, Alex. Okay. Let's go with uh, Lydia Esmeralda Romero. She's absent, right? Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. You ready? Douglas Sanchez, are you there? Hey, Raymond, ¿ya se unió al grupo? Yes, teacher. Creo Thank que you. alguien más hacía falta ahí. No sé si alguien más hacía falta. Ahí está el link. Entonces, Douglas Sanchez, can you hear us? Hello, teacher. Are you ready? Excuse uh, me. I, I don't know. I... Understand uh, question. Uh, my question is if you I are ready understand. for okay. your presentation. Excuse me. You have a little internet problem there, Douglas. I can't hear you well. Yes. I problem the, the, the connection. Okay, I'm going to leave you at the end, okay, Douglas? Let me go with the next participant in the meantime. Do we have Edgar Rolando Arias Rivas? No. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon? Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez? Present. Are you ready, sir? Yes. 
One second, que voy a ponerte aquí el stopwatch. Action. Okay. At my parents' house, there are two bathrooms. There are eight people. There is a computer. There are six cell phones. There are six cell phones. There isn't a basement. There isn't an attic. There are three washes. There are some notebook. There are some, there are much food. There is a kitchen. There are some, there are some pens. Finish. Continue, 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 <laughs> continue. You're going so well, continue. Hasta ahí okay. quedé, ya, solo ahí copié. 30 no seconds. El que dice Alex. Soy Edwin. Ok, Edwin. Este, bueno, me quedaste debiendo ahí, me, me pagaste en colones. Necesito que me pagues en dólares. 10 <risa> segundos este, me faltaron nada más. Vaya, fíjate de que quiero que tengas cuidado con los plurales. Eh, ¿A qué me refiero? Que, por ejemplo, si son dos baños, vamos a escribir la letra S y la vas a pronunciar. One, okay. one bathroom and two bathrooms. bathrooms. Ok. Ok. The same okay. with notebook. You said some... Some es plural. Cuando tú vas a decir some, vas a hablar de algunos o de algunas. Entonces, el noun por ley tiene que ir en plural. Entonces, cuando dijiste cuadernos, no book, some no book, you gotta say some no books. ¿Ok? Ok. Please, please, pronounce. Pronounce the letter S, Edwin, on the plurals. <clears throat> but other than that, you're doing good. Los singulars que me dijiste estuvieron fantásticos. Usaste negativos también. Congratulations. You are very intelligent. And let me go with the next participant. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. She is missing in action. Irving Joel Moran Gonzalez. Present teacher. Are you still in the meeting? It's correct. Okay, 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 okay. No problem, no problem. Let me go with Josue Eduardo Gutierrez Salguero. Hello, Josué. Hello, teacher. Hey, Josué, are you, are you now in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Are you ready for your presentation, sir? Yes, teacher. Okay. Guys, let's pay attention to Josué's performance on three, two, one. Let's go. In my house, there is a, a little garage. There is a car white. There are two dogs. There are two bedrooms. There is a small room. There are five persons. There is a motorcycle. There are some materials of construction. There isn't a cat. There isn't a bicycle. There isn't air conditioning. There aren't any TV. There aren't any stereo. It's all. <laughs> No se escucha, teacher. Continue, continue, continue. 
Ahí me quedé nada más. It's ok, it's ok. Te faltó poquito, poquito, poquito. Vamos, dentro de las observaciones, igual, creo que estamos muy bien en el singular. Good job. Vamos a ver, pequeñas observaciones como cuando vamos a dar colores, vaya, por ejemplo, car, que tú me dijiste, car es un, es un noun, ¿verdad? Car es un nombre. Eh, vamos a especificar el color. El color siempre lo vas a ubicar antes del noun. Uh, en este caso sería white car. Ok. Uh -huh. okay white car. Ojo uh -huh. con los plurales, ¿ok? There are two dogs dog or dogs. Dogs. There are two bedroom or bedrooms. Bedrooms. There are five person or people. Mm. Person. Persons. Is singular. Uh -huh. So people. People, oh, people is the plural de, de ese noun. Okay. Yeah. Ese es un irregular noun. Eh, los que los que tengan un poquito de que necesiten un poquito para elevar su conocimiento en los irregular nouns busquen google google eh, regular irregular nouns váyanse a google y busquen información así irregular nouns list of irregular nouns y les va a tirar la información de todos los nouns que son irregulares y ahí ustedes van a ver singulares y plurales verdad para que expandan más su conocimiento but other than that you're doing very well Josué I need you to continue in the classes continue persisting and keeping the practice up okay good job okay thanks teacher my pleasure sir let me go with uh, Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente, who is actually missing in action. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. This is my favorite moment. <laughs> Guys, let's listen to your classmates' presentation. Here's with us, Ms. Karen Ramos. Let's go. Okay. They are two TVs in my house. There is one kitchen in my house. There is one computer in my living room. There is one bed in my room. Uh, there is one fried in my kitchen. Eso sería. And the plurals? What about the plurals? There are some. Ay, solo es este. Ah, vaya, está bien, mis. Entonces solo me le faltó practicar los plurales, ¿ok? Practíqueme plurales. Véame eh, las, las, las cositas que se puedan utilizar para práctica, como las llaves, por ejemplo. Ah, pero antes de llegar a eso, mis, este, usted me usó one muchas veces y está bien, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, one bed, me dijo, ¿verdad? There is one bed, there is one kitchen. Eh, mm -hmm. Es más común cuando va a ser uno usar el artículo a. Fíjese, okay. es más común. Usted dice a bed mm -hmm. y eso significa one mm -hmm. bed, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Porque es, es como, como que un poquito más común usar los artículos, ¿ok? Um, entonces me practico los plurals, como por ejemplo, there are, there are some dishes, trastes. There are, there are some chairs, sillas. Y me lo va poniendo así en plural, ¿ok? 
Y hágame okay. también en negativo. There aren't, me okay. va a decir. There aren't any. Y me pone ahí un, siempre un plural noun. ¿Ok? Ok. Nice job, Miss Cannon. Continue practicing, please. It's very okay. important. Let's go with Laura Fuentes de Melendez. Are you here, Laura? Or you're missing in action. Marielena Linares Díaz. Present. All right, Marielena, are you ready? Are you ready for your presentation, lady? Okay. Uh, what about Mario Alberto Hernandez Vasquez? Mario is disconnected. Uh, Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Hi, teacher. All right, Patricia, are you ready for your presentation? Uh, okay. I have a little house. Okay. There are two bedrooms. There are four beds. There are two televisions. There is a kitchen. There is a bathroom. There is a dog. There is a four door. There are three table. There is a bookcase. There are seven balls. There are five windows. <laughs> Hasta ahí lo dejé. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Igual, fíjese qué coincidencia. Estamos muy bien con los singulares, Miss. Estamos muy bien con los singulares, Patricia. Ok, thanks. Ahora, en los plurales sí vi ahí como que un titubeo, porque vi que me dijo muchos ejemplos en plural muy bien. O sea, que usted me decía there are y me decía el noun en plural. Pero hubieron nouns que no me los dijo en plural. Por ejemplo, two bedrooms. Ok. Póngame el Ese por el sonido de la M, quizás bedroom. Cerramos bedroom. Y quizás luego bedrooms. la S. Bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Four. Bed. Or beds. Bedrooms. Uh -huh. Pero me dijo cuatro camas. Ah, four, beds. four beds. Ahí, four beds. Four dos, beds. Tele, dos televisiones. Two televisions. Correcto. Y me dijo perritos, cuatro. Ah, uh, no, there is a dog. Oh, okay, there is a dog. Y luego, three tables. Three, three tables. tables. Entonces, three sí, tables. estamos, estamos eh, comprendiendo ambas pero a veces los plurales se nos escapa pronunciar la letra S. Entonces, pendiente ahí con eso, Miss, pero other than that, you're doing great. Ok. okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's keep practicing. Bueno, los demás no van a poder por el tiempo. Vamos a ver, Ramón, Antonio, Scotto, Abarca. Yes, I am. All right, all right, all right. Tomorrow, ok. Tomorrow, first, first, first block. <laughs> It's okay, teacher. Roberto Antonio Ramirez González. Este chico veo que se conecta, pero habla un ratito, vaya. Y Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Muy bien. Okay, guys. So the ones that couldn't have the presentation, you will do it tomorrow, okay? People such as uh, Raymond Irving, okay? And this lady, Patricia, let me see. You will do it tomorrow. Guys, have Teacher, a good night. Yes? Me. Yes. One question. Yes, sir. What happened? There is 
there are serían los, las oraciones. Correcto. Esas son afirmativas, ¿ok? Oraciones afirmativas nada más usando con usando there is y there are. Me gustaría que incluyas también negativas, también que me digas un par de ejemplos de cosas que no hay. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, en singular vas a usar there isn't a. There isn't, ok. Te lo escribí ahí en el chat y el otro sería there aren't any. Trata de incluir affirmatives. Yeah, affirmatives in, in uh, singular, negative in singular, igual en plural. Affirmative in plural and negative in plural. Y acordate que mañana en la mañana la clase, esta clase ya está subida en la plataforma. Así que la puedes verificar por cualquier um, duda. Ok. Ok, teacher. Good job, people. See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Good night. See you tomorrow. Night. Tomorrow. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Goodbye, Good everyone. Morning. See you tomorrow. Peace and love. Peace, everybody. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.